So adults have about 32 teeth. That's including wisdom teeth. And that's full set unless they're, you know, there are times where people are missing, like congenitally missing teeth. But generally speaking, you should have 20, uh, 32 teeth by the time you're, you're, uh, you're what, 21 or so. And what about children? Let's say that when we talk about children, we talk about, you know, when the, when all the baby teeth are in. So like most of them will erupt till about age three, about by the time you're three, you should have all your adult, uh, all your baby teeth. So how many teeth do you guys think the uh, kids have? So the kids have um, 20 teeth. This is just a little picture of uh, what, what, which teeth come in first. So usually the bottom teeth come in first. So the bottom, bottom front teeth, and you can always see the babies with their cute little tiny teeth on the bottom. Um, so bottom always comes in and then the top, and it's always matching. So like the bottom two teeth will come in at around, it varies, but anywhere between six months to a year, they'll come in and then the matching set on the top will come in. So everybody, all the parents are always worried. Oh my God, my, my kid's teeth are not in yet. It's okay. Everybody's, everybody's different. Funny questions. Do you guys think this is normal? What do you guys think? Lots of parents are actually worried about that sometimes. They're like, oh my God, my kid's teeth look weird. Is this normal? So this is normal. They're called mammalon. These are actually adult teeth. When the teeth are coming in, this is what you see sometimes. And the reason why you don't see it in adults sometimes, and sometimes you still will, depending on how their bite is, is because by the time the kids are, by the time the teeth are in, because these are not fully erupted, is your teeth kind of hit each other and the kids, or sometimes the kids will grind, do some grinding and those, those kind of flatten out. That's why you can't see them. Those are some cool pictures I found of, of skulls, but this kind of shows you how the teeth are being formed in the jaw while the child is growing. And then the difference in the tooth structure, besides the root surface uh, or the root, how the roots are, do you guys know any other differences? Like, what do you think are the differences between adults and, and kids' teeth? Are there any? So this photo, if you just flip over to the photo groups. Yeah, so this photo will show you differences in sizes and, and uh, baby teeth have wider enamel so um besides the thickness so the enamel is a little bit thinner though and the dentin which is the second layer with is also a little bit larger when the kids get cavities we don't have a lot of tooth to work with like they're pretty tiny so as soon as the cavity happens we sometimes have to fix it sooner than if we did in the adult tooth the adult tooth actually eats away at the baby tooth so sometimes it doesn't and sometimes <clears throat> that creates other issues, but generally speaking, it just eats away at the baby tooth and then it just comes right in. Do you guys ever heard the term shark teeth? Super concerning thing for parents. They're all like, oh my God, the adult teeth are coming in and it's like two rows, like a shark, you know, like, is this normal? So this, this is normal. The, the reason why is because the adult teeth, remember I just showed you a photo, the adult tooth wasn't underneath the baby tooth it was behind the baby tooth at this point possibly the jaw wasn't growing when the teeth were coming in and the tooth was like okay well there's no space here so i'm just going to come here so it's not a big deal but we do help those baby teeth out because they don't have anybody eating the root underneath right so they're going to be in there so what we do is we take the baby teeth out maybe two or four to create space for the adult teeth to come in mm -hmm.